once again to another episode of Joey's Experimental Kitchen. Today we're going to talk about breakfast. Breakfast is, as you all know, the most important meal of the day, but on occasion it's hard for us to get up and get going in time. So this is an easy and nutritious recipe that you can prepare ahead. First we're going to learn how to make homemade granola bars. This was a favorite of my sisters and I when we were kids, and we loved them either hot out of the oven or the leftovers later. And as always, this is an extremely versatile recipe. First you start with ordinary rolled oats. You can use either instant or regular rolled oats. These are the rolled oats. We want to have about one and a half cups of rolled oats. After that, you can add any kind of dried nuts and fruits that you'd like. I've got here some almonds, some pecans, dried apples, raisins, and coconut. Now, you can either chop this up with a large knife on your cutting board, like this, or if you have one, you can use a food processor. I really like to use my food processor for things like this, and sometimes I might even grind up a little bit ahead of time. So we're going to put that all in the bowl of our food processor. And as you can see, this is a very versatile recipe. I think I'll add a few little prunes in there. So I got my apples. Okay, this is going to be noisy, but here we go. chopped dried fruit and nuts. Now this is the time of year coming up where we'll be getting some delicious locally grown strawberries, peaches, apples, all of those things you can dry in your oven and save them at home. So this is our dry ingredient mix. Mix that all up together. I'm going to add a few more peanuts and like I said this is a very versatile recipe so you can pretty much add whatever you like. Chia seeds are extremely nutritious and add a lot of fiber. Sesame seeds are always good. Coconut, so whatever you like. Now that's the dry ingredients. For the wet ingredients, we're going to put two egg whites or one whole egg. And these are, of course, locally raised eggs from Will Farm. Now the two egg whites, how do you separate an egg? It's not as difficult as you think. If you haven't done it before, you just crack your egg over your bowl, and while letting the white fall into the bowl, you just pour it back and forth and catch your yolk. So, I can save those egg yolks for using later in another dish. We're going to take our two egg whites. You can also add the whole egg if you'd like, and actually that adds a little bit of extra protein, so I like the egg. I'm just going to add the whole egg. <laughs> okay. Whisk your eggs together, and then you want to add approximately one quarter cup of a sticky sweetener. I'm using Mr. L's local honey. It's about a quarter of a cup. A little bit of oil. Here we have some natural peanut butter.